Jamaican race car and driver Fraser McConnell has inked a deal with Action Science team for the 2024 Extreme E season. He had a successful debut campaign with Sir Lewis Hamilton's X44 Vida Carbon team last season, having earned two first and two third place finishes for a total of four times on the podium. McConnell will partner with Laia Sands, who has been with the team since its inception. He will depart the island on Saturday for the series that starts on February 17 and 18 in Saudi Arabia. He joins us now via Zoom to discuss this latest move. Welcome to the Sportsmag Zone. How are you doing today, Fraser? Good, good. Always a pleasure to be on. Thanks for having me. Yeah, always a pleasure to have you on the Sportsmag Zone. Talk to us about this latest move. I, I thought you were happy with Sir Lewis Hamilton's team. No, it's a big deal. Um, you know, firstly, we need to thank uh, Sir Lewis again for having me on his team. They unfortunately departed from the championship, mm -hmm. so they're no longer competing in Extreme East. So, you know, um, the announcements were quite back-to-back, -back, but um, there's been a lot of behind-the-scenes work making this happen for a long time. So, yeah. um, Carlos Sainz, another another childhood hero of mine, uh, is the owner of this team, Asiona Science Extreme East. And, you know, he must have... He, he, he was at all of the races last year. Uh, so I was able to get those, um, you know, those hero moments out of the way. And <laughs> not before long, he became, you know, just another another legend in the paddock. But uh, he must have just seen seen the the speed and the talent that I was able to show while racing for Lewis's team. Um, and he, he, he knew I didn't have a seat next year and called me up. And when the phone rang and he said, hi, Fraser, this is Carlos Saints, I almost dropped out my chair. So um, it's re a really cool experience. And... I'm going to take this opportunity and, and make sure I'm in the best of it. Yes, yeah, so many questions. Um, first of all, how long did you know that Lewis Hamilton's team would no longer be part of Extreme E? And was there ever a point you were concerned about whether you would be able to land another team? Um, you know, I don't want to get into exact timelines, but, you know, when you're operating with such a small team, you kind of know, you know what's going on behind the scenes and... Uh, kind of get hints that you need to start looking elsewhere. Um, obviously, they were telling me for my best interest. And I you know, just started con some conversations and a um, couple, couple I'd say about a month ago, or a little over a month ago, started conversations with Carlos and Asiona. Uh, so a lot of back and forth. Um, very cool part is that Red Bull is going to be sponsoring the team. So there'll be a, a team sponsor. So it'll be the first time Red Bull is coming on board with a team for Extreme. This is the fourth year, and this is the first time it's going to be a Red Bull team. So very big, very big milestone for myself. I'm going to finally get to tick, tick that um, checkbox off my bucket list of putting on a Red Bull hat and a Red Bull helmet before, before I race. And yeah, just going to use, use every, every opportunity that I have to continue this relationship. Yeah, and Fraser, I think it's important to um, highlight here that you have not been, you know, taken up by um, a low-ranked team. This is a team that was second last year, I think. So I think it says a lot about how they feel about your driving skills um, that you have been bought here by a top-two team. For sure. Um, you know, last year I joined the championship-winning team. Um, Lewis's team won the championship in season two. Um, brought me on board for season three and you know we were able to have a lot of great success together we got two wins as well as two other podiums third places um, there are 10 teams in the championship and only four teams for the entire season were able to score a podium so uh, very very tight at the top we really showed class um, and it was my rookie season so racing against a lot of people that had experience within the car uh, had experience with the race format um, and this year Carlos and Asiona uh, signs have, you know, they, they trust in me that I have what it takes to help them win the championship this time. And, you know, it was a bit, it was a very bitter ending for them last year. It went down to the last race and the position they had in the, in the final would allow them to win it. 
we win the overall championship, but um, mechanical issues and just, I guess, crunch time pressure uh, stopped them from doing that. So they're all going in this year with one goal is to win the championship. And I'm just grateful to, to be a part of that game plan. Yeah. Um, Fraser, you obviously enjoyed your Extreme E outings last year and uh, took to it like, you know, like it was comfortable for you. But the Nitro Rally Cross that you, you know, had, you know, come to the fore with, is that still part of your program going into this 2024 season in any way, shape or form? Yes, definitely. So those, those highlights that are playing in the background there now, um, that's actually my first blog. Uh, so go check it out on YouTube and you'll get to see what <laughs> Nitro Cross is about. So like I said, those, those clips are Nitro Cross. The season is a two-year calendar. So this we're still in the current Nitro Cross championship. Yes, uh, it's a 23-24 um, championship. So we're in going into rounds nine and ten in Vegas. That's going to be in March first and second. So we're at a very tight battle in the top three for the championship. Um, again, within that series, I've had two race wins and two other podium finishes. So. Really in the fight, really up in the mix at the top. And um, to answer your question, yes, we'll be continuing uh, okay. Nitro. And you don't anticipate any clashes because your Saudi Arabia trip for your extreme e-outing is next weekend. But the Nitro Rally Cross assignments will slot in, you know, hard, um, seamlessly for you that you don't have to, you know, straddle yeah. both. Mm, yeah, thankfully, thankfully the championships do work very closely together when they're making the calendar. Yes. Uh, the, some of the races are very tight. So, for instance, there's a race in Phoenix. Uh, they planned it quite well, actually. One weekend is Extreme E in Phoenix, and the following weekend is Nitro Cross Extreme <laughs> um, in Phoenix, the exact same place. So, uh, they work well together. Some of the drivers do both, so they don't want to they don't want to put anything at risk with having one, drivers to choose between the two. So. They know it's better if they work together, which is very good. Yeah, and I put this to you a couple of times that we spoke before, but the stories keep keep um, multiplying for us as as Caribbean potency continues to show itself in the motor racing world. Because we see what Sarah Mazir has been doing with the Formula wom woman Women's Circuit. Um, Alex Powell just last weekend won an F4 event. And uh, the Barbadian Zane Maloney now signed up with the Sauber Academy for F1 as a reserve. Um, this is, these are tremendous stories for Caribbean motor racing, aren't they? Fantastic. And I um, also need to mention uh, Senna Sommerbell and Tommy Gore. Yes. Uh, they are going to go compete in the German Touring Car Championship. And, you know, it's, I love to see it. I wish there were more, but, you know, this is such great steps in the right direction. Um, I always say it, and I'll, I will always say it. Jamaica is so multi-talented. The Caribbean is multi-talented. Um, you know, once we put our mind to something, we're going to go out there and make sure we find our way to get to the top level. Um, and, you know, great results for everyone so far, and I'm, I'm wishing them nothing but the best going forward. Yeah, you know, we had Alex Powell here in the studio. Well, not this studio. When we were at our old studio at Chalmers, Chalmers Avenue, and uh, it was one of the best interviews I'd ever done. He was, I think, just 14 years old at the time, Alex Powell. And to see his growth and his continued strides in, in the field of, of motor racing, I can't say I'm surprised because this is a, a teenager that is obviously highly skilled and, and, and talented. Um, is he someone that you talk to and encourage as he goes along as well? Um, I have spoken to him a few times. He's, like you said, you, would, you wouldn't think that he's as young as he is. He's so well-spoken. Um, you know, he's very experienced as well. He's been doing racing internationally at the top level for a very long time. Um, he has the right support with him. The Mercedes Junior, the, the Formula One Mercedes Junior Academy has taken him at a very young age and leading him in the right direction with the right support. And, you know, he's right now he's on, he is on track to become a Formula One driver. And it's obviously not easy, but um, if I was to, if there was a bet for it, I would, I would definitely put my money down. <laughs> all right, Fraser, we know that you travel this weekend and Saudi Arabia is your next stop. Uh, we wish you all the best. And of course, we will continue to track your performances on uh, the Extreme E circuit and when the Nitro Cross is on as well, because Sportsmax covers them both. And um, all the best and congratulations once again on your new signing.
I appreciate it. Yeah, man, it's a, it's a Spanish team, but you can you can definitely count to see that Jamaica flag flying high on the top step. <laughs> as we as we usually do. Thanks, Fraser. You're a, 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 Thanks, a, guys. a, a tremendous advert for Jamaica. Uh, we go to break now. We'll be back with more on the Sports Max Zone after this.